Hello, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and today I'd like to do one of my favourite paper tricks with you. So um, what you need to do this job is the coated Clarity stock or some glossy card for sure and some dye-based inks, a speedball brayer and some cling film. So uh, let's have a look and see where we go with this. I'm going to take a piece of copy paper and I'm going to lay down on top of that my uh, Clarity card, which is like I say, it's got this coat on it, it's, it's shiny. And then I need a speedball brayer and I'm going to use, to begin with, two Adirondacks. Now, I want two contrasting colours that sit well next to each other or on top of one another. And I've chosen Mountain Rose and Eggplant. You could do this just as easily with any of the Distress inks too. Um, water soluble is what we're looking for. So first of all, I'm going to ink up my Mountain Rose. And this is an occasion where we don't have to worry if it's too bright or if we get stripes. Uh, it's not a problem. Now we can do one of two things. We can either go straight to the card and then spread it around, which I think I'll do with this, watch. See? And then you just spread it around. And because it's a coated stock, it's great. Because it just, you can shuffle the ink around, literally, on the card. And if you want a bit more, look, even if you've got patches, it doesn't matter. There we go, a bit darker down the bottom. And we go right up the top and you get that lovely airbrushed effect. Clarity card, brilliant stuff. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next is take eggplant. And the same way, I'm going to ink up the eggplant. Cool, this is a new ink pad. Look how wet that is. Yikes. If it's too dark, you know, you can always go on a blending mat. There we are. And then you've got a bit more control. And what I'm going to do is actually go straight over the top of the um, mountain rose with the eggplant. I reckon that will look pretty cool. It's different anyway, isn't it? And if I wanted to, I can always go back in, if I choose to, I can always go back in with my mountain rose on the other side. But I reckon this will probably be pretty nice. So I'm just going to clean my brayer. How do you clean your brayer? I clean mine with baby wipes and paper towels. That's all I ever use. So that's done. Right, now, next thing I want to do is put some cling film down on this. Watch what happens. This is so cool. But I want to just lift this off. It doesn't have to be dry. It doesn't have to be wet. It just has to be like that. And then I want to take a piece of cling film Take a piece like that, and then what I'm going to do is, rather than spritz the paper, I'm going to spritz the uh, cling film. So we'll just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, that'll do. And then the wet side down, we'll just lift this over and put it down on there, and then we'll scrunch it around. Don't fiddle with it too much, but you'll see that the ink lifts, and you can control, actually, where you put the lines. So let's just do that. There we go. And then you have to wait for about five or ten minutes, depending on whether you live in a sunny country or whether you live next to in, with a radiator. Um, but it has to be completely dry. And the most difficult thing about this trick is having the patience to wait until it is. Okay? So, are you ready? I'm going to go and put the kettle on and have a cup of tea.
think it's ready. Shall we have a look for the great reveal? What we're going to do now is just peel away. Let's take away the, the white copy paper. And you may have noticed that I did actually use the heat gun just to speed it up a little bit. But have a look at the most amazing patterns that you get in here. So you can see, I don't know uh, if you can see this exactly, but it absolutely is amazing as a background. And it's still a little bit damp. So what I can do, you see, is I can take my, my heat gun and I can just bring out, what will happen is the white will come out even more. So the longer you leave, the better and when I when I worked this out a long time ago it was so cool because I remember I did I had a session you know like a, a cling film background card making session and all over on on the cooker and on the radiator on the window so it was everywhere in the kitchen it was just full of wonderful different color combinations but this will do for now i think that will work so if i take a piece of um kitchen towel what i want to do is polish this so i'm going to buff this up because this will make a fantastic stamping background now so I'm just going to polish this so there we are and then the background you see sets the scene for the stamp so let's take a look at what we've got and then I want to just finish this off oh that it looks so beautiful and my idea was this now let me see the stamps that I wanted to use I just want to show you um, did you see my lovely backgrounds that I was making while I was cleaning my, my um, blending mat too? These are the stamps I want to use. I want to use the boy flying away and a very, very beautiful um, word stamp, sentiment stamp that Jim designed. And it says, clean out the corner of your mind and creativ creativity will instantly fill it. I love that. And so what I want to do is just decide now how to compose my picture. So just let me work this out. You listen to some nice music while I figure out the composition. Right, I've got it. So what I want to do, you see, is stamp the boy flying away and the verse down in here. And then I can always trim it up if I want to. So I'm going to use the same ink pad as I used for um, the background. I want to use that lovely eggplant colour. So we just... Let's position the words first. All right. So I just want to stamp the words into position. Uh, I think I'll just check for a minute. I'll do. Nice to be able to see through the stamp, don't you agree? There we are. So I just want to make sure that the words are stamped out perfectly. Lovely. And then I want to take my boy who's flying away with the birds is rather special. One of the nicest stamps we've ever come up with. Annie designed this one. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. So we'll just ink this up. This is quite a wet ink pad so I have to go quite gently now and I just want to add this boy to that scene there. There we go. So I'm just going to press him into let me just stand up to get some pressure, even pressure on the stamp. There we are. Perfect. And you see how the background, it just conjures up this amazing, um, mystical scene with very little effort. You know, and what I'm going to do though is just blot the boy and the message. Just make sure that they're blotted. 
there because they're quite a wet ink pad as I said. I prefer them when they're a bit older. But I don't want to go on and on and on. The main thing I wanted to show you was how to create this wonderful background with the contrast and then how lovely it looks when you, you set a silhouette image against that. So that's all I have time for today. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you again next Tuesday on YouTube Tuesday. Bye bye now.